Some students at the University of North Texas are not happy with the person speaking at graduation next month. Texas Governor Greg Abbott will speak at the inaugural university-wide commencement ceremony, and Fox 4's Brandon Todd is in our Fort Worth newsroom. He spoke with some of those students who aren't happy with the choice. Brandon. Right, Stephen Heather, uh, the president of UNT, told me that they put out requests to a number of different speakers, including Michael J. Fox, but many of them were either booked solid for that date or were too expensive. But the decision to invite Governor Abbott came with some reaction, both negative and loud. He does not value what we value. Christy Madrano set up this Facebook page called Abbott Free UNT soon after learning that the governor would be the commencement speaker. It calls on seniors to get up and walk out when Abbott takes the stage. It has nearly a thousand likes. And then there's this petition asking the president of UNT to find another speaker. Now a lot of students were very angry, we were very galvanized, so we figured let's take it to one of the most accessible open forums, which is social media. Abbott opposes same-sex marriage. The backlash comes mainly from the campus's LGBT community, who harshly criticizes Abbott, saying he hasn't been friendly or open to them, calling the governor, among other things, a bigot. There are so many students who are unhappy with this decision. Elizabeth Webb, a member of GLAAD, is a senior. Well, if my other fellow student, class of 2015, if they decide that they're going to walk out, I might just stand up and walk out too. UNT President Neil Smotrisk says they extended the invitation to Governor Abbott soon after he was elected. And we felt it was appropriate. He's the chief executive officer of all higher ed and the chief elected official of the state. Smotrisk disagrees with those who criticize Abbott's record on education or diversity, saying he's an advocate for UNT. He's also free. Other speakers, it turns out, can cost a lot of money, up to 500000 in a private jet, and we didn't think that was fiscally responsible. And as for the backlash? Everybody is entitled to their own opinion and to their freedom of expression, and nowhere is that protected more than on a college campus. In fact, I would argue that we must be doing our job right. We expect our students to be passionate, to be engaged, to care deeply, and to be active. Now, there have been some comments on social media asking students to yell or be disruptive at the commencement, and the students that we talked to today said that is not what they want these students to do. They are hoping that it will be a silent protest. Heather? All right, Brandon Todd in our Fort Worth newsroom. Thank you.